Somebody asked me about my my uh, polystyrene drain pipe chicken feeder. I had to refill it today, so I thought I'd show it to you. So that's how you fill it. You just take a feed sack, turn it up inside the, the opening, fill it up. It holds about one and a half sacks of feed. It's about, oh, five feet tall, four inch polystyrene drain pipe <clears throat> with PVC pipe couplers at the bottom. Uh, the pipe's really easy to cut. All you have to do is use a box knife and uh, slice through it any way you want. Um, as you see, I made little flapper doors here to keep the to keep the birds from knocking all the feed backwards. It had, tends to keep the feed in here. Um, this is a brand new one I just built. <clears throat> I gave the old one away to a friend that needed it and made myself a larger capacity one. So there's the feeder. It's about $5 in parts. Maybe eh, if you have to buy the whole length of pipe, maybe maybe seven dollars in parts. Um, you cannot glue the poly the polystyrene pi pipe, this corrugated style PVC pipe. It's not PVC, it's HDPE. HDPE and PVC do not glue together, so you have to use uh, screws. So I just used three screws at every junction and uh, screwed it all together. There's three holes that go all the way through here where I just put sheetrock screws through to the barn wall to hold it up a few inches off the floor. Probably doesn't uh, discourage rats very much, but it's better than nothing. And that's